Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video today and today we have a Lenovo laptop. This one is a Lenovo Yoga 530 series and this is a 14 inch touch screen version and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to upgrade the RAM on this one if it's possible because many people keep asking me how do I upgrade the RAM on these models. So in this video, I'm going to take you step by step on how you can do that. First thing first, you want to power it off completely. And then you want to flip it upside down. Make sure you have a nice working place. And you want to grab yourself a screwdriver set. I use the iFixit tool set kit as they have all the bits that you need for any electronic opening. And from these sets, what I like about it is they have an S2 class steel. That means the bits are really toughened and they don't go bad after a few years or many openings. And I like this aluminum handle. Uh, from here, we're going to be using torque number, I believe, 5. Let me double check that. Yeah, we're going to be using torque number 5. Also, you can get the pro, pro set for this one that they include you with an opening tools and some pliers and tweezers. So you can get this pro set tool that they give you all the opening tools, everything with a handle. Um, but if you don't want to get the pro set, you can just get the, the screwdriver set and for the opening tool. We're gonna be using a guitar pick. A guitar pick is the same thing as that they include in the pro set, but with a handle. And I honestly don't like the handle. I like to hold it in my hand. It fits nice and snugly. So a guitar pick, a torque number five. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna start removing all the screws at the bottom cover and keep them in one pile. Also, I realized that only 1% of my viewers are subscribing to my channel and supporting. It would be a really great help if you guys could uh, click that like button and subscribe to my channel if you find my videos helpful for you guys. I really appreciate it. By the way, all the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching those. Now what are you going to do? You want to grab the opening tool and we're going to stick it between the bottom and the top cover. And we're just going to just twist it. Gently go ahead, twist at the front end. You don't need to stick the whole thing inside, just a tap, about one or two millimeters. And just work it around to the back corner, make sure you hit those clicks. Do the left and right side. Once you got that place, just work it around, pull it up the front and that's the bottom chassis or bottom cover. Alright, down here, everything is visible. Now we can see two RAM dims are covered under this shield and the battery and the rest. So in order to remove the cover for the battery, I will suggest you disconnect the battery. You don't want to just, when you pull this off, you can touch other components with a metallic cover and you can make a shortage. In order to disconnect this one, it's really simple. All you have to do is to pull these cables backward and the jack will get released. So you just have to manage to slide this one backward. And that's it. Next, what do you want to do? You want to use a tweezers, a pointy tweezers. Let me see if I have my tweezers. There we go. You want to grab yourself a pointy tweezers and uh, you want to stick it on the bottom of this cover right there and just lift it up. Once you lift up a little bit, just go ahead and pull it up. That's one. You can do it by hand if you want to, but be very careful. These are really, really sharp. I have cut myself once. Look, this one has one RAM and this one is empty. 
To remove the randoms, all you have to do is to pull these two triggers apart from each other and the RAM will come out in 45 degree angle. To remove the RAM in the same position, just pull it in the same direction outward. These are the DDR4 RAM, this is a 4 gig. You can place an 8 gig and 8 gig RAM, or at least have both of the channels, both of the DIMMs occupied. If you want, grab at least another 4 gigs, that way you have a dual channel RAM, which is way faster than having a single DIMM in there. So you can mix match 4 gig and 8 gig or if you want to even you can put a 16 gig on this one with no issue. Let's say you get the new RAM dim. Don't worry about the position of the chips on the RAM. It can be on both sides or on one side. That makes no difference as long as the cut on the RAM matches the cut on the dim. So if you try to put it the other way around, it's not going to go through because the cut don't match. They don't align. So what you want to do? Make sure the cut aligns. Bring it over in 45 degree angle, in angle, and insert it all the way in. And then you want to push it towards the motherboard, and you're going to hit these two triggers, just like that. And that's how you upgrade. Let's say if you want to put another RAM in there. Let's see, I have one over here. This is another 4 gig. So just grab it, bring it over, place it towards the motherboard. And that's it. For this video, I'm not actually going to upgrade, but that's how you do it. Now, once you did that, you finished. You want to grab the cover, bring it on. There's a tiny hook that holds from the edge of these ones here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hooks. So pretty much you have to align it, make sure the hooks are grabbing it on every corner, and then just push it towards the motherboard. Uh, same thing over here. Make sure it's nicely aligned. And then push it in. And double check, make sure all the hooks are holding it. Alright, once you finish with that, the last thing down here will be to grab the RAM jack and the battery jack. Carefully align it over. and push it towards the inside the jack and that's it and the next step would be to grab the bottom cover simply bring it over press the corner by the hinges press the back end make sure you hit those clicks the tiny clicks press the corners the front and that's it pretty much and the last thing would be to grab the bottom screws and place them right on the top part. Also, a recommendation and note, if you place both of the RAMs and you power on the laptop and you hear the sound, all the lights turn on, but there's no screen, don't panic. Turn it off, remove the RAMs and replace, switch the places for the RAMs. Put the new one on the right and the old one on the left. Just swipe the places. This mostly helps the buyers to detect the RAM. And once you turn it on, give it about 5 to 10 seconds. So they let the RAM do a memory check and then you should be fine. And the next boot will be super fast. Alright guys, thanks for watching. And if you like this video and helped you guys out, please click the like button and think about subscribing. I really appreciate it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. There we go.